Do you know who made the fibers of your clothes? One thing is for sure, it's made by humans. Hi, my name is Masha and today we're gonna talk about material usage and the ethics behind it and how social media can help us find an answer to our question. First of all, it's very important to understand that clothes are products, like you see here. And every product and its materials are produced by humans. So every item made, people are heavily involved. These people are heavily affected by the working conditions of the textile industry. Our goal today is to understand that every purchase is a choice and your choice has power. So let's clarify the question, who made your fiber? <laughs> and at first, let's take a look at some vocabularies. Fiber. Fiber is a thin thread. It can be natural or artificial and it's used to make ropes or cloth. Yarn. Yarn is a thread used for knitting or making cloth. Spinning mill. A mill or a factory where a thread is made. Working conditions. Working conditions refers to the working environment and the aspects of employees' terms and conditions of employment. They cover many topics like organization of work, work uh, activities, training, skills, but also health, safety and well-being at work, as well as work-life balance and uh, working time. Fair payment is also a very important aspect of working conditions. The campaign Fashion Revolution stands for activism and transparency and from the start on they have asked really important questions about the fashion industry and uh, used hashtags to raise awareness and empower people to use their political voice. The first question was who made my clothes? Several other questions were developed over time to raise awareness and uh, highlight a variety of topics and issues uh, within the fashion industry. So instead of asking ourselves who made my clothes, we're gonna ask ourselves today who made my fiber. So first of all, pick a clothing of your choice. What do you want to wear today maybe? I don't know, do you feel like a simple shirt or a blouse? I don't know. Pick it out and then you can take a look at it. So what brand is it made of? And if you turn it inside out, you can see the care label. So what fibers are in it? And yeah, this one is 100% cotton. So the next step is to take a picture of the item you chose. You can lay it flat on the bed or the couch. I don't know how you feel. Or you can wear it on the left side so that the care label and the brand is visible. Then you can put this picture on social media with the hashtag who made my fiber. If you don't use social media, that's all right. You can just send an email to the brand. It's most likely that the answer will not come right away after you send your email, but it's still important that we show the brand that we care about transparency and we want to know who is behind the clothes we wear every day. Have you ever asked yourself about the production of fiber and textile materials? Where do they came from? Who's making them? Are there any specific countries that are known for production? And how are the working conditions there? So maybe you have a geography book at home. Just search for it, take a close look. I'm not quite sure where mine is, but it has to be here. There it is. And then you can like search for countries that are known for textile and cotton production, like maybe, I don't know, Turkey or like here is, you can see India. And then you can search for cotton production or textile production. And if you can't find anything, maybe the book is old or you don't have one, you can just use the internet. All right, so then let's maybe do some research together. Uh, it's important to know that in the production chain, uh, very often manufacturing parts are in focus, but exploitation is also a daily business during cultivation processes and inside of spinning mills. Both tiers are very essential for the productions of materials, but are often forgotten. The production conditions, along with all their tiers, are directly affecting the working conditions of the people who are working in the textile industry. There are many issues like low wages, health issues, everyday discriminations, and those are very important topics, but only a few of the problems uh, in the textile industry and a few of the problems that people working there have to face every day. For a more personal context, you can look at the journals that are provided by this lesson today. 
All right, so um, our choice of how much we are buying or what we are buying is, should be a very responsible choice because there are direct consequences for people working in the textile industry. So just take your phone, you can open up Instagram and search for the hashtag uh, I made your fiber or I made your yarn. There you'll find a lot of personal stories of people working in the textile industry. Um, yeah, about their working conditions, their everyday life. And so the campaign raises awareness for them and gives those people a voice, which is much needed. Thank you very much for listening and taking your time. If you want to know more about the origins of your clothes, just take a look at the campaign Fashion Revolution and browse through their Q&A, Who Made My Fiber? You can also take a close look to the country team activities.